when you draw this uh, diagram of action potential like this on x is x is there is the potential change here is the uh, uh, time that as the time passes what is the change in the voltage so one by one we take each terminology first start with the stimulus artifact stimulus artifact is what little deflection recorded in the recording electrode after giving the stimulation we have two electrodes one is giving stimulation another is recording the change so after giving the stimulation there is some current leakage happens due to that that is recorded in the recording electrode that is known as stimulus artifact after stimulus artifact there is a isoelectric line present what it indicates that till this time there is no change in the potential that time is known as latent period latent period is what from the time of stimulus to the response coming that time is known as response started that time is known as latent period after this latent period you can see there is slow rise in the membrane potential after that you can see there is a fast rise so this slow rise is why this is happening this is uh, uh, for the achievement of the firing level and after the firing level is achieved what is this firing level the difference in the minus 50 millivolt in the voltage so when the voltage from minus 90 it reduces to um, around minus um, uh, 70 or 75 millivolt then the firing level achieved and there is a rapid change in the membrane potential that is known as depolarization then this is the rapid change and rapid fall this portion of this graph is known as the spike potential okay slow rise for the achievement of firing level once the firing level achieved fast rise fast fall that is known as spike potential what is overshoot potential overshoot potential is the value of the potential which comes above the zero means in the positive direction how much the potential has been reached that is overshoot potential beyond zero spike potential overshoot potential coming back to normal when this repolarization is happening the last part of repolarization is a slower process that term given that is after depolarization and after depolarization then one more thing happens that is known as hyperpolarization or after hyperpolarization also this term is given what is that hyperpolarization when while coming back towards the resting membrane potential the potential would go beyond that minus 90 and it would reach up to minus 100 that is hyperpolarized state and then it would come back to normal to its resting stage that is minus 90 millivolt so these are the various phases of action potential curve